Hey everyone, Arlie Safari here. We're going to be checking out Jellycar Worlds today. Since there was an update that came out late December that I didn't really get the chance to check out. Being Jellycar 3 levels being added to the game. So, yeah, we're finally going to be checking it out now. And I also know there was a co-op update, but... Well, we'll check out that out at a later date. I already have someone in mind to play that with, so... Let's get into 3. And 2011. Okay, so we got six different level packs to go through. And yeah, we'll, we'll be doing just the red stop signs for the most part. But we will be checking out some challenges here and there. So yeah, let's get to learner's permit with how to play. So the easy levels. So... Yeah, this was one of the last Jelly Car games I played before Jelly Car Worlds came out. And personally, at the time, I preferred Jelly Car 3 less than 2 for some reason. And I, I haven't gone back to play the original versions of these games, but I don't know if it was just... Me being a stupid kid or whatever, but yeah, I mean, hopefully I have a good time with three. But yeah, I mean, it's interesting seeing how these levels improve over time. Like with the first levels, they're like very basic, especially Jelly Car 1, but here you can tell that they're getting more complex over time. So, here we go. I didn't even need to grow with that. So, easy one. Ocean waves. Oh, crap. No, come on. Get on those waves. But yeah, they're doing a bit more of this. So, from what I read on the little title page... This was the game that introduced custom levels, as well as secret exits, which, if we get any, what we'll get, in. but my main concern is the red stop signs. Come on. But yeah, between, like, the first update for the Jelly Car 1 to this one, there's a lot of jelly car stuff to go through. Ooh, red stop sign. And ocean waves. Lots of jumps next. I don't even think I... I haven't really... 100% either one or two. So... Mostly because there's not, like, any achievements tied to it. And... It doesn't really get you anything else except just being like... On the tile screen, be like, hey, you complete all these things. I think the text changes blue or something. But, yeah, I also remember this game coming out around the time mobile games were, oh, were just becoming more free to play. Like, that change was kind of just gradual. Okay, lift and jump. So originally, like, mobile games would cost a few bucks here and there. Like, for example, you would have some, like, ports of games like Sonic 1 and 2 for a few bucks. Which, yeah, I think there's still go around two or three dollars for just taking out the ads, but they're free to play now. And then I think they were, like, slowly getting less and less. Like, for example... Like, it went to 99 cents. And then... We got to free-to-play. Which... Yeah, I'm not... Too big into free-to-play games. Except for... Maybe... I would probably say Sonic Dash and Sonic Forces Speed Battle. 
That's my main free-to-play fix on mobile games. But... Yeah, the good thing about Apple Arcade, despite just being another subscription, is that these games don't really require any microtransactions, which I love. But at the same time, there's only like very little games or very few games that I like on Apple Arcade that I play on a regular basis. Like, Jelly Car Worlds, I play the iOS version every now and then. Um, okay, Chasm's next. But yeah, we're doing good so far. But, yeah, the touch controls are a bit hard to get used to, so I just... ...ended up using a Backbone controller. Which works out pretty good for the game, um... I have a PlayStation version back controller for my wow. iPhone 15 Pro Max, and oh crap! Oh, okay, we're we're still alive, but it works pretty well. With Jelly Car Worlds. It's pretty much similar to just playing this game with an Xbox or a PlayStation controller. Um, my only issue with that would probably just be that the PlayStation buttons don't appear with the PlayStation version of that controller. Anyway, sick tutorial. If you use a dual sense or dual shock, the PlayStation symbols appear just fine, but if you're using that controller specifically, then it doesn't work the best. But, yeah, the other game I play on, ah, oh, crap. The other game I play on Apple Arcade is Sonic Dream Team, which I do pretty good on. In terms of playing on a weekly basis. Mostly because there's a weekly leaderboard that goes on for that game. Called Tails Challenges. And yeah, it, it, it's a fun mode. Um, last week I was able to get first place globally. And yeah, that, it's the only time I've been able to do it. The week before, I tried getting first, but I got second place. Unfortunately, some guy got ahead of me like the night before the. Tails Challenge is uploaded, updated, so. But I don't know about this week. I haven't played the levels yet. Oh, I recognize this level. Yeah, this is still in, like, in the main Jelly Car Worlds game, too, but I think it's a bit different. But... I'm not too sure if the one here is supposed to be a different in terms of level layout. I think that the blocks are different colors here. But outside of that, like probably outside of like cosmetic stuff, since there's stuff like car bodies and maybe wheels in this level. I think this level's all the same. I'm not too sure though, but we'll find out. But yeah, slowly going through this. I hope I don't run out of balloon. Okay, I thought enlarging would help me a lot, but nope. Also, thank God we have the balloon and that it runs out less quickly than it does in the main game for Jelly Car. Because in, th in three 
it's supposed to run out like Boing. with Boing. more time. Boing. If man, I've got to sound stupid here, but yeah, the balloon has more time on Angelic R3, so I'm glad they all well, stayed accurate to that. And we spike chamber next. Okay, let's. Oh my god, this is basically. I remember this from Sonic 1 and Sonic CD. Well, at least Sonic CD, I know it's in that game. But yeah, this was something in Metallic Madness Zone. But so far, so good. Let me see if I can. Ooh. No, oh, crap. Okay, I almost got this. I suck. Oh, frick. Go, 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 go. Okay, I'm, I'm still not dead. Good. And. God, before the spikes got me. So that's Spike Chamber. And also, Lurmur's permit. permit. So, let's see what challenges they got. And then we'll move on to the next level pack. Never-ending Turbo. There, there's a lot of interesting ones we could do. But, reach with overflayed tires. Okay, I think I heard about this one. This should be fun. Oh, frick. Okay, I'm already going up in the air. Nope. Okay. I should go back. Oh, God. I could skip parts of the level with this, though. Hold on a sec. Okay, I might be able to do this. Okay, well, I suck. Okay. I'm glad gravity... Oh, crap, I, I skipped the goal. Didn't mean that. Nope, I got saved by my overinflated tires. And that's a goal. Okay, so... Yeah, we got more purple... ...squares, so I'm... I'm glad we got that. But... Yeah, we'll, we'll try to check out... ...one or two challenges... ...per level pack. But I'm, I'm not going to be doing all of them because I'm pretty sure this is going to be one of the longest Jellicar world videos I do. So, yeah, let's get into Temple Escape. I almost got Temple Run there. Oh, yeah, I also used to play Temple Run as a kid. That was an interesting time. So I played a bit of two, but mostly when it came to Temple Run, I played the first one specifically. And then there was also another one, which is more of a spin-off game. Or like a movie tie-in than anything. Which um was based off of Oz the Great and Powerful. Which yeah, in retrospect, that movie wasn't so great or powerful. You can still tell it was like a Sam Raimi movie, though. But, yeah, that movie was just okay. There were some cool aspects to it, but, eh. But yeah, every now and then... There would just be a, like a random tie-in game for a movie or TV show. But yeah, Temple Escape, Half Pipe. Boop, boop, boop. Another example I could think of is Doodle Jump. Please don't let me die. That one got a tie-in to the movie Hop. 
Oh, wait. I almost got it. Frick. That was so close. But yeah, the Illumination did a live action movie once. And it was kind of okay, but not really. It was it was bad. Or why am I saying okay? I, I can't make you guys believe in that. And yeah, it was pretty much the same game as Dual Jump, except you know it was less like you were playing on a notebook and more like you were playing in the factory from the movie. And all the enemies were replaced with the chicks from the movie. Oh my god, I think I know this level. This is the Dorito level! The best level in the game. Except we don't have a hook. But yeah, sorry, I gotta get distracted by some things in the game when I'm just talking about stuff. I'm... I like talking about in relation to the game. Oh crap. Come on. Okay. I kind of wish we had the hook shot or the hook from Jellicar Worlds here. Because that made this level a lot more fun, in my opinion. Because I just love the hook thing in general, or grapple shot. I've said it like before multiple times, but it's like my favorite power up in the game. Although Balloon's a close second. Okay, anyways, Ice Loop. Okay, I can do the flips. But yeah, these levels seem better made than Jelly Cart 2, I'll give it that. So maybe... I was just being a stupid kid, so come on. Okay, on the ball we go, please don't... Come on. And frick. Oh wait, no, I'm good. I don't even need to move. I just go to the red stop sign. Oh man. Okay, anyways. Continue to crazy cog room. I also remember this. This is also in Jelly Car Worlds 2. Not like a sequel to Jelly Car Worlds, but this is actually still in Jelly Car Worlds, like in one of the worlds. I can't remember which level this was in, a world pack, but I know it's in there somewhere. Okay, come on. From what I remember, though, this level was less bright than the colors we have here. So... I'm not too... Come on. Come on. Get over there. Yep. I wonder. Okay. Yeah, I'm no speedrunner. So... That was kind of cool, though. The closest thing I get to speedrunning nowadays is probably the... Sonic Dream Team leaderboards, so... And then I forgot I mentioned movie tie-in games, so... I can't really think about any recent ones in terms of mobile games. Like... 
the best you get nowadays would probably just be like a tie-in movie event in a pre-existing game. Like, for example, I know some game recently just got a Napoleon tie-in. Like, that Apple TV movie starring... I was gonna say Jared Leto, but that's a wrong joker. Uh, Joaquin Phoenix. Jelly World 1-1. Oh, I wonder what this is supposed to be a parody of. Oh, wait. Okay, that might be where the secret exit is, but... You know what I'm here for. And no flagpole. Oh, well. Could he legally do a flagpole there? Eh. I don't need to find out. We don't need those Nintendo ninjas on us. They're on Wallaber. Oh. Okay, am I doing the right thing? Come on. Here we go. Also, um, for this stream, or for this video, I'm gonna be... I'm using a new microphone, so I'm, I'm hoping it sounds fine. I spent like about an hour trying to figure the setup for this up, and um... Wait. Yeah, this seems like the normal path, I think. Or not? What? Okay, it keeps going. Oh! Yeah, I guess that's a secret exit, so, um... It's crazy how I can almost accidentally find these secret level... or exits, so... Anyways, Castle Catapult. Even more Doritos. And I need to get on that catapult, so... Let's figure this out. Oh, crap. Okay, I'll just stay in this form for now, and... Oh, yeah, I should have noticed that the growth thing doesn't... ...doesn't go down at all. And I don't even know what I'm gonna hit. Never mind, I just went out of bounds. Because, screw me, I guess. Okay, let's see, come on. Okay, this time I'm not gonna grow. That killed me last time. And I got the secret exit. Okay, please don't take me to the secret exit place. Oh, okay, we're we're angry bur birds. This thing, come on. I just don't don't bring it down. There we go. There we go. Yeah, I wasn't expecting to get the secret exit there. But yeah, like I said, it happens by accident at times. Anyways, Haunted Mansion. Boop, boop, boop. Definitely not going to be the Disney ride. Boy. 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 I think there should be some Disney-themed levels, though. But... Wow. I'll talk about that when we get to them. Wow. Because I, I read somewhere, or saw wow. footage of like a Steamboat Willie-themed level. Wow. Anyways, I, I'm not gonna spoil it. Well, it's not too much of a spoiler. Oh, man. I don't need to be in the fiery pits of... ...whatever this house is called. So, come on. Come on. Okay. And let's... Wait, what? Oh, come on. And we're back over here. I'm just gonna avoid this thing because it killed me last time. So here's the hoping it doesn't do it again. Oh my god, is this a doom buggy thing? This kind of looks like the thing you get on in the ride 
at Disney World. It feels like it's a reference to that. Yeah, but that's Haunted Mansion. Questionable if it's related to Disney. So, anyway, Spire's Web. Okay. I need to get up here. And that's a spider. Clearly, it's a spider. I don't know what else it would be. Because that feels too distinct to be anything else. Like, most of this level is made up of regular-looking blocks. So... Okay, no. That, we're good with that. Oh, wait. Why do I even care? This thing is... Yeah, it's good as is. Please just don't... Okay, we're good. And where's the spider? There she be in secret exit. Nope. Not a secret exit. Nope. No, 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 no. What the frick? Let me... Let me live. Okay, I need to get back up there. Please. Come on. Okay, we we did it, kind of. So... And... I don't have a balloon, but here we go. That thing almost got me, though. I don't know what would have happened, but... Anyways, X marks the spot. Oh. Okay, this is a pirate ship, but... Yeah, this is definitely more, a bit more complex than two, but... You can still see... How it's a bit more simple than... You know... Than... I would want to say in later games? A later game. Okay, come on. Oh yeah, I also forgot about the binoculars. Come on. Oh man, I know... So, there's someone on the Jelly or Walliver Discord server that told me exactly what the name of the binocular thing is. I'm pretty sure it's binoculars, but I'm not... I don't know 100%. Ooh, I, I see what I need to do here. So I gotta use a combination of this and that. I don't know if this is a secret exit or if this is a regular exit. And I'm in the bottom of the Boing. island. Huh. Uh, oh! Okay, just a regular exit. I guess the secret exit was above that tree or something. I'm not too sure. I felt like the game was leading me to the tree instead of that, though. But oh well. Blast off. Oh my god, I recognize this level too. I think it's the one with... It's the world that introduces a rocket. I can't forget that because that whole world is space-themed. Oh god. Okay, I think I could totally get this. Come on. Get on the comet or whatever that thing is. And... Oh god. I think the end of this level was a bit different since he had the rocket power up. Ah, frick. No! Okay, I can't complete this level without doing this, so I'm just gonna be in big mode. There we go. Okay, that was easy. 
And I did in less than 50 seconds, so that's good too. Huh. Anyways, the time cave. But yeah, decent amount of levels are from Jolly Car 3 and like the main game, but. Oh, frick. I want to go down here. This seems like the stop sign route. Okay. Oh, frick. And I already see it. It's that moon thing again. I think it's a moon. What's up with the backgrounds looking a bit staticky? Huh. I guess maybe that's how it was in the original game. Anyways, thank God for the moon. Come on. I'm like the DreamWorks kid up in here. And stop sign. Parachute. Oh god. I don't think this is gonna go too well. Oh god, no. Okay, I need the sticky tires and then I need to get the red balloon. I can't even freaking get it. Okay, come on. I'm gonna grow for this. Okay, come on. Get past that, please. And... Oh! oh. Okay, that's a thing that's not supposed to send me up. This is, though. And we got everything. So now we just need to get up there. This shouldn't be too bad, though. We already have everything. Oh, God. Oh. Okay, I don't even need to worry about... Um, I need to worry about this, frick! Okay, I might be able to... Yeah, I could just go through the ceiling here. Oh, come on with this locking thing. You know what? There. I like them apples. Come on. Oh, come- No, no, no. Okay, we're good. We are good. Touch it! Yeah, I touched the red stop sign. Okay, one more blind maze. Okay. This is reminding me of a scary maze game. Mostly because of that shade of yellow. I'm kinda just... waiting for that scary lady to come out whenever I get close enough to the goal. But I can see why they call him invisible now. I can't get past this, please. There we go. Don't let me hit anything. Is that important? Oh, it's just supposed to... Did that just take us to the beginning? Oh, wait. We're good. Kai wish the... The binoculars was something we could use. More often. Come on. I can do this! I hope I'm going in the right direction, too. I can't tell right now, but... Oh, 
Okay, well, th there's a secret exit, but that's not our main goal. Okay, let me get myself a head start. But all these levels you could probably remake in the level editor. Like, I gotta say... That the level editor is pretty impressive. Um... I was messing around with it... A few weeks ago. Oh, frick, don't let me... Oh, no, never mind. Do let me do that. Okay, so I'm not gonna do a challenge there, because... Okay, reach the goal without going through the cave. I'm not sure if I can do that. Um, overinflated tires. Reach only balloon once. Tempting. Reach with a huge car. Oh my god, it's beautiful. It's a hot mansion one too, so. Oh my god. Oliver went through puberty or something. What the heck? Okay, come on, we're good. I don't even think I'm supposed to be on top of that. There we go. It seems a bit different from the regular car shape as far as I'm aware. Or it could just be the wheels, but that's pretty funny. Yeah, I think it's just the wheels being not the same. I don't know. Something about it feels different from the main shape of the main car. Or, or like, car number one. I wonder. Hold on. And... Yep, we got it. So that's huge car. Let me see if there's anything else I want to do in this level pack. Okay, reverse level. Oh, okay. You know what? Why not? This looks kind of cool. Why am I saying kind of cool? It is cool. And they remove a secret exit, so we don't, we can't touch that again. Oh, that was fairly easy. So, yeah, that's two challenges there. Anyways, we're going to be doing In the Machine. So we'll start off with cannons. Okay. Waiting to be fired. Okay. Okay, left or right? I'm gonna go right. You always gotta be on the right side to victory or whatever, I don't know. I'm making up a random quote here. Okay, and... Crap. I might be able to get up over this. Nope. Okay, if I just... There we go, there we go, there we go. Ah, frick. Okay, never mind. I just need to angle it at the right freaking angle. Okay, here we go, here we go. It took me, like, half a minute to do that. So, yeah. That's cannons. And time for flipper. God, these level names are already sounding scary. Oh, I, I think I know what he's doing here. I like the little wall jump thing. It's fun when it works. There's some times where it just doesn't work the best. But... Oh, crap. But here, it's fun. Although, I will say... That was my bad. But I made up for it. Big time. Nope, never mind. I'm I'm falling to the bottom. This thing could just come on. Here we go. Yeah, that was the main problem with this. Come on. 
and touch. Okay, the factory. I don't know what they make here, but... I could have just skipped that part, maybe. If I just use the grow to get myself in the spin wheel thing, I would have been so good. Okay, secret exit to the left, obviously, so... Ooh. No, I could. Wait, how am I attached to this thing? I don't even know what happened there, but... I'll take it. Anything I could possibly get, I will take it. And here we are. Nope. Yeah, it's like teasing me there. There's this one insurance commercial that there was a guy. He was like supposed to represent another insurance company. And he had like a dollar on a fishing pole. He's like, oh, you almost got it. That's that's what I feel like here. Okay, let's go above here, above and beyond. Ah, oh, frick. Okay. No. Balloon. Okay, well, I'm not sure... Uh, underneath, huh? Okay. Wheels. So I'm assuming the secret exit was above, like, the turning wheels there, like, at the- towards the end. Because when you get a balloon, and you can still use it, it oh, crap. Okay, I got it. Easy level. In less than 20 seconds, so... I'll take it. Fallen goal. This seems like the same... Oh. Yeah, kind of the same concept. Ah, crap. Hold on. I should've... I, mean, I don't think I'm going to be able to make up for this any restart the level. There we go, all the way down. And now here. Okay. How? Oh, no, 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 no. Frick. Oh, wait, I might actually be able to make or recover from this. Oh, I get what they wanted me to do. But you know what? I'm going to take the hard way out. Because my name isn't Arlie Safari, or it is. But not in real life. I don't know where the hell I was going with that joke. Anyways, come on. Get it! And take it to the bank. Yeah, we're, we're definitely not setting any records here, but... Yeah, we're doing good. Anyways, big clock. Okay, definitely going down. Also, thank god there's no pachinko level. I... I'm not a fan of pachinko. But... Yeah, Jellycar 2 had one. 
This is giving me PTSD from that. Mostly because of the Mario Sunshine level. I can't stand it. Come on. And... Oh, frick. Okay, the gears kind of help. More than they hinder us. And... Yeah, flap. Yeah, we should still be... Able to get the regular exit. Oh. Okay. That's... that's cool, but... Doesn't seem to serve an actual purpose outside just... Being like, oh hey, I can make a clock. But still pretty cool. And there we go. Jackpot. And... Yeah, thank God we got the time there. Tick-tock. Man. Oh my god, that's the freaking Mickey Mouse. It's a hidden Mickey. That's what this game was missing. Hidden Mickeys. Which... I'm curious how the rights work with Joy Car because I know technically Disney still owns the rights to that. And that Wahlberg's Wal like licensing it out. Yeah, he's like licensing it, it out or something. Or getting licensed from Disney. I'm not too sure. How that works, but I mean, good on Disney for letting him do this. Because I I'm pretty sure that they're still credited in, like, the title screen. Uh, hopefully my microphone doesn't catch a sound of me scratching the back of my neck. Felt a little itchy. Ah, oh, frick, nope. And there we go. Okay. And we got the challenge. So drop box. I'm, I'm not too sure what I'm supposed to do here. So I guess... Do I really need to have the... Box be, be dropped or well, well, we'll find out now. Okay, so I guess it's supposed to. Yeah, those boxes were meant to introduce us to the concept of or the gimmick of this level. So we need to get this into the elevator. Is my assumption? Oh yeah, yeah, definitely into the elevator. So push. I don't know how to do this otherwise. Wait. Okay, I'm kind of kicking it. Okay, come on, let's make a goal here. He shoots and he scores. Oh, that's my attempt at a joke. Probably the most family-friendly thing I'm going to say on this channel. <laughs> and... Regular exit. Thank God I didn't get out of the elevator. Anyways. Mole Patrol. I wonder why they call it Mole Patrol. Like, is it gonna be, like, a animal mole, or, like, is it gonna be, like, you know, a mole that you have? I don't know. 
Did I play the level right? I feel like I wasn't supposed to go underneath there. Or maybe I was, I don't know. It's hard to tell at times. Oh, crap, no. No. Okay, no more stupid deaths, please. Oh, God, no, 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 no. I want the regular exit. I need this. It's funny that we find the secret exit, but we're, I'm like, nope. I'm saving myself for that red exit. Oh, God, that sounds wrong. Anyways, mysterious machine. Very mysterious indeed. I don't even know what it does. Yeah, what's the purpose of those things? Unless we're not even at the machine part yet. For all we know, this could be obstacles to get to the machine. I don't know for sure. This feels similar to a, a Jelly Car Worlds thing. Although, you know, lifting stuff like with the balloon and the sticky tires. It's a pretty common thing to do, but I don't know, just felt eerily similar to one level. Oh, come on. Just lift it. Lift with the knees, come on. Although cars don't have knees, technically. Okay. And s exit. That's what I need. There we go. And three more to go with spin fling. Oh, God. Okay, well, I already screwed the pooch there. I don't know if it's that I've played too much Sonic in my lifetime, but I keep getting reminded of Sonic stuff from the 2D games, at least, when I played this game. Right now, specifically, I'm thinking of um, Sonic 1 with, like, the spin wheel things. Where you get on top of these, it spins you. But I think it was also in Sonic CD and possibly 2. But yeah, hopefully we do this. Did huh. Okay, I didn't mean to do that, but... No, screw it, I'll take it. I just... Notice I could use that. Okay, I, I'm gonna play it again. That that's super annoying. I wonder though. So yeah, we finally made it to this part. Okay, uh, hopefully I don't go too fast for this. Come on. Okay, not bad. The one thing I don't like about this game, it's 
more of me not liking something because it makes it harder for me to play it. Is that the sticky tires, if you're going too fast, they stop sticking. I'm not a big fan of that. Anyways, spin fling, we finally did it. So, wheels of wonder. These better be some wonderful wheels. Oh god, yeah, these are some big freaking wheels. More so than the ones we saw already. Oh, frick. Okay. Thank god for the ground. Is this part of the regular exits? I don't even know anymore. But actually, we'll find out soon. I think we're still on track, but yeah, this this feels very normal exity. Oh frick! Maybe not. Wait, yes. How do I miss it entirely? Ah, oh, crap. Okay, well, I'm gonna try again. Okay, I just need to touch it. Touch it, yes! And on my second try, too. Not bad. Not bad. Okay, one more. Ollies. Oh, wait! This is also in Jelly Car Worlds, except it's a bit different. I think you either had the balloon or the hook shot in this level somewhere, but. Yeah, this is almost the exact same level. And also. The orange block w was a bit different, too. Wasn't even a block, actually. Like, there was, like, a wheel thing inside there that... ...could suck you up into, like, a pocket if you get caught in it. But... Yeah, that... It's interesting, because... I didn't realize how much... Oh, frick! That's... that's not a good sign. Nope. There we go. It's interesting, though, because you get to see how many... how much Jelly Car Worlds takes from Jelly Car 3 specifically. In terms of level designs. I can't say that about any other of the two games. But yeah, that's, um... Everything for in the machine. So, let me see the challenges. Collect jelly car letters and reach stop sign. Okay, sure. This shouldn't be too bad, right? But yeah, it's just basically the same level, except we get to get the letters. That's cool. We're doing this like Donkey Kong Country or something. Oh. Get that E. Get that E. Thank God there's no D in Jelly Car. So I'm not saying get that D. Anyways, gel. Oh, crap. Get. Ah. Okay, I'm going to have to wait for it again. But. My only complaint with this would probably just be that I wish there was something on the HUD to indicate that you've gotten... Like, what letters you've gotten specifically so far. Like, for example, like, DKC shows you if... Like, which of the four letters that you've gotten that make up Kong. And here, it's hard to tell. Oh, frick. Okay, come on. Okay, one more. I just need R. 
Boy. Jelly car, boy. Boy. There we go. Yeah, ain't taking my freaking stop sign. Anyways, let's see. I don't know if I want to do anything else from there, but... Talk. Dropbox. Spin flame. Eh. Without using rotating gates. Hmm. First level sounds fun, but... You know what? I think... Reach with moon gravity. That sounds new. Okay, this will be fun with moon gravity. This is one small drive for jelly car. One big leap outside of bounds. Crap. Okay, maybe I should drive in the opposite direction. I'm... Okay, there. I can control it a bit. If... Come on. There we go. Okay. And we got it. So that's Flipper. So that's pretty much... How many levels is this? Yeah, that's a third of a level so far. More than that, but... Yeah, we got 21 more to go. And I'm hoping... Oh crap, slime levels. I did not have that much of a good time with this in Jelly Car 2. Well, at least in the remake levels, but here we go. Yeah, that, that this is what I'm talking about, though. It's really easy to glitch. To glitch outside of a sled or just... They accidentally get into it. But, you know, second time's a charm. But when it works properly, it's fun. Oh, frick. I, I, I jinx myself. I jinx myself and... I don't even know if I can finish this level up. I might be able to. Hold on. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I never needed a sled. The sled just needed me. But yeah, thank god these don't have any challenges. Anyways, rainbow slide. But, yeah, I was talking about the custom levels earlier, and I was messing around making... I'm currently in the process of making a custom level. And it's supposed to be a remake of Sonic Adventure 2. Like the first level from that game. Um, City Escape. Although it's dubbed Jelly Escape. Just because I thought it'd be funnier. And plus someone made a Sonic level previously. They called it Jelly Hill Zone. So I kind of want to go with that theming. But. Yeah, there was one section where I was trying to decide do I want to have hold on do I want to use a sled for the beginning of a level because in the original game the level the first level starts off with you having to go down the streets of what's basically San Francisco but on a snowboard, pretty much. Well, actually, it was a piece of a helicopter, but... Yeah, still. I wasn't too sure how to do that, because... There are different car bodies. So I just ultimately decided just to... Take the wheels away for that big part of the level. And then... Give it back... To the player, whatever... Oh, come on. No, no. Oh, it happens. Will I die tragically this time? Okay, well, I glitched to a thing, but... Oh, come on. Okay, let's see if we can do this. Oh, uh, nope. Not again. I swear. Oliver, why have you forsaken me? So, I'm just gonna ditch a sled, because I don't need it. 
That's what's been killing me. Oh, crap. I've mastered... What? What did I get? Oh, the secret exit. I didn't mean to get that. So maybe I can ditch it up at this point. Since... Yeah, the camera's not... Supposed to be following that anyhow. And... Yeah, we're good. I don't have to deal with the sled anymore. Never mind, I still have to. I didn't... I forgot that I could still touch any exit and win the level, even if you're not on the thing. My god, this is gonna be tr tough. Okay. And miraculously, the sled did not collapse into me, so we're, we're good. We're more than good if... Oh, crap. Nope, we're, we're golden. But yeah, when these levels work, they work well. Okay, well, one more to go. And we've managed to get the... You know, complete this level in a specific time challenge each... Each time for this level pack, so... Which... Oh, crap. Yeah. Oh, God. What is happening? I... I'm just gonna keep spinning, or... Oh, that actually worked out pretty well. A little too well, and a little too annoying here, so I'm just gonna... My God, but... Yeah, that's... The sliding levels. Not my favorite level pack, but it's still in the game. Anyways, time and space. What is that like? Carnivorous beast. Okay, this is looking more complicated. Anyways. Oh man, sorry, I had to yawn there. But yeah, we're doing it. We are doing it. We're walking the dinosaur. We're driving on the dinosaur. But yeah, this is looking more complex than previously. Oh, frick. Oh, I have to go in his mouth anyhow, I guess, so... Into the digestive system I go. And he already ate a dinosaur. Holy, how the frick did he do that? Well, that's... That's the T-Rex for ya. Wild, wild jelly. Okay, here we go. And, yeah, pretty much a clear road ahead of us. Except we're going to a building now, wow. I'm saying that like, it's the most impressive thing, but... You know, for a jelly car level from 2011, this is pretty cool. Okay. And... Yeah, we got through it just fine. Not bad. Come on. It feels like you could do a bit more with this level in terms of background and everything, but... Also, just aesthetic too, but... Otherwise, it, it's a cool level. Oh, come on, just let me get past the gears! Okay. No more gears. Just... Uh, 
thing with two blocks. I don't even know what that is. And... A train? Maybe? Looks like a train. With some... Cattle? And I guess they're eating hay or something, and... They're not even in cages, that's... They could use a cage. Well, that's a secret exit, so... What's... Oh, that's just clouds for a sec. Oh, frick. Thank God I... I pressed the... But and also thank God for balloon lasting as long as it does. If this was regular Jelly Car Worlds, I'd be dead. But yeah, did not make... We did not get the time on that. Sunday, 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 so... Monster car themed? Man, I, I remember... I don't know, is that... I don't even know how we're gonna get to that, but... Yeah, I, I think it's just aesthetic. But back to what I was saying. I've seen monster truck commercials before. I've even been to like a monster jam rally once. Or at least in my hometown. It's pretty okay. Those machines get loud though, but... I mean, if you're into that, you're into that. But... Yeah, I remember there being like a Phineas and Ferb episode where... Um, they had like a Monster Jam... Rally in their backyard. And... I remember Isabel... Went into like a deep manly voice being like, Sunday, Sunday, Sunday! And that's the first time I've heard that phrase used before. Also, I should probably just have my grow on, or big on. And these were some nice vehicles, but they're no longer nice. Anyways. Oh, how is... We've managed to beat the clock by half a second. That's, that's honestly insane. And Alice in Jellyland. Okay, I... I know the next level is Disney themed, but this one... I can't... I don't know if this is actually... Based off of, like, the... Disney version of Alice in Wonderland. But... Oh, wait. I think that's... Yeah, that's the doorknob from the movie. This is definitely based off of an animated film. Yep, and that's a. Uh, I forgot what the name of that cat was. Like the cashmere cat, maybe? I'm not too sure. I never really watched Alice in Wonderland all too much. But. Yeah, you can definitely tell this was based off of the Disney version, though. Ah, crap. Was I not- Oh, thank god, it comes back down. I was kinda scared it'd be like a one-way deal. And secret exit's over there. Not going for that. But I'm going for this if... I could not fall to my... I'm an idiot. How, though? I'm... I might have to restart. Yeah, I'm gonna have to restart the level. I'm not gonna be able to get past this. Okay, thank God. We're past the mushrooms and... past here. But, me personally, I never watched this movie growing up. Well, except for live-action remake, um... I, I watched that movie in the El Capitan Theater in California, which is like where they premiere all the Disney movies pretty much in 
Also Marvel and Star Wars, I think, too. But, yeah, it was an interesting experience. Okay, yeah, we got it. But yeah, that that's interesting. Anyways, Jelly Boat Willie. I already like that it's black and white. Oh boy. What is that? Who's that? Oh, Pete! Okay. I can tell that's Pete, but... It's interesting because this level, or this, um, the short was... Getting a lot of traction online because of the copyright running out on Steamboat Willie. And my god, have people taken advantage of that. Now, there, there's cool parts or aspects of it that have made it interesting. Like, someone's making a Steamboat Willie game. Not horror based thing. I'll mention a horror based thing, thing in a bit. That actually looks kind of fun. It's kind of like a boat simulator or something. Where you have to make decisions on like upgrading your ship and everything. That's kind of cool. But the ones that look freaking weird are probably the horror themed ones. I'm not a fan of that. There's like a horror themed game coming out, and then someone's making a horror movie based off Steamboat Willie. It looks like a bigger piece of crap. Ah, crap. Well, I was gonna say crap anyway, so... Anyways, restarting. Okay, we're past here. So yeah, um... Just talking about that stuff, um... Yeah, the Steamboat Willie horror movie looks like a bigger piece of crap than... The Winnie the Pooh Blood and Honey movies. Or at least the first one. I didn't watch it personally, but... Okay, come on, these... Get up there. Okay, this might be a... A problem, but... Yeah, the... I hate it when... Things go into public domain, and people's first thought is, let's not really, you know, utilize this property and... or this story in an interesting way. Let's just... I'm kind of scared of using Grow because I think I'll fall off if I do. Oh, wait. No, frick, no! Okay, I, I might edit that part out, but I'm going to finish what I was saying. Well, not edit this part out. I'm probably just going to cut bits of this just to make it easier to get through when it comes to watching the video, because I don't know how long this is going to take. Oh, never mind. I think we got it! Yeah, I... Anyways... But this is a really cool level, though. Um... If I can just get up... There we go. And... Yeah, the bird has it. I think that was the bird that was... Kind of... I thought there was like some kind of parrot or something in the original short. Or like a bird kept in a cage. But he had the... Secret exit. Or the exit. So... Yeah, that, that was a cool level though. Probably my favorite so far. Outside of those freaking stairs, man. That was where hard to get up, but otherwise. Cool. Oh, meteorite, but Oh man, I forgot what I was saying earlier. Oh yeah, about people with copyright stuff getting into public domain. They don't think oh hey. What can we do that puts, or like, let's do something interesting with the story. No, it's like, hey, let's just make this a horror movie for like no reason other than shock value. That's why I feel like most, ah, crap. 
Boy. Anyways, that's why I feel like most public domain stuff, Boing. like, is gonna be, Boing. like, in the wow. future. You? It's gonna be like, oh, how we're gonna utilize this as a horror movie. Boing. But yeah, I'm, I'm hoping it does bad. Although, based on that trailer, the budget looks like crap. Like, I would not be able to tell... It looks worse than a CW TV show. Like, it's that bad. But... Yeah. I'm... You know, just talking about... Oh, thank God for s the exit coming now of nowhere. Love it when that happens. But just talking about, um... Okay, I definitely know this isn't based off of... The animated Ice Age. That was owned by Fox at the time. This was published. Man, where's Sid? Where's Manny? A lot of characters missing, but... Joke jokes aside... I'm curious how the rights specifically work for this. So I'm... I'm guessing he has the rights to use the levels that were in the original games. But he d He's not able to utilize... Any characters in new levels, maybe? I don't know, but... That's where my head's at with this. Also, this update came out before Steamboat Willie hit the public domain, so... Not that I think that affects the copyright or the right for this level or whatever. Since... I think Disney would still own that, but... Still interesting enough. Also, what's... This is real, really feel like a ice level outside of well, the ground being ice, and then also these ice cubes. Okay, yeah, I, I guess this is an ice theme level now. There we go. And there's a frozen dinosaur. My god, it's almost like. Ice Age. The Meltdown with those two dinosaur things. And Pharaoh's Tomb. But I forgot to mention this at the beginning, but I think these were DLC levels. So I'll probably add something at the beginning of this video just to say, hey, there's some levels missing, but... Yeah, the DLC seems more complicated than the regular game, which, yeah, that's that's crazy to think about. I don't know if these were just available to download for free or if you needed to pay like a microtransaction. Yeah, because this was the time. There's might have been. Before microtransactions were like really big, but maybe they existed by at this point in time. So I could see them charging this. But yeah, they are fun though. Yeah, I'm assuming they're probably microtransactions because they would have been added through an update otherwise. Because like some of these levels are lost media, or at least the ones that didn't make the cut, that were DLC levels, and they would have to utilize a Disney server in order to actually download the levels, and that is Pharaoh's freaking tomb. But yeah, I'm assuming the last level pack's probably gonna be another thing of levels there, but 
Let's see. Beat the dev. Yeah, we already have beat the dev levels on every single one, so... Overinflated tires. Never-ending turbo. Okay, that sounds fun. For a monster truck level. I, maybe we could skip the whole level if we really play our cards right. So hold on. Yeah, this isn't going to work well on ice, but... Come on. It feels like we could. No, never mind. But yeah, having this on the entire time just makes it feel a bit... It, it's harder at times, but... Others, it's easy to do. Because when on turbo... It just makes the wheels go really fast, and... It works fine if you're on, like... Pretty much... A flat... Ground, or just... Like, if you're going downhill, but... If you're going uphill... Ah, crap. Okay, finishing my thoughts from earlier, since this is towards the end of the level. But if you go uphill, it's hard to do, because... The tires are pretty much working against you, instead of... Like, helping you... When... It comes to... Turbo. Because the tires get a bit bigger, and then also... They go so fast that it pushes you up a bit. Oh my god, how do I do it a second time? I should have saw that coming. And... Here's the hoping I can do this. Oh, frick, no. Again? Okay, I can do this, I can do this, come on. I just got land. On- There we go. There we go. But yeah, Turbo makes the end of this level hard. Because you're- you're so close to the... Like, out of bounds, and then also... Like, the... Stop sign... Is kinda tucked into those... Pile of cars, but... Yeah, that- that was... That was fun. Oh man, I wish I was in Jellyland. No, what? Jelly Boat Willie. I don't want to... I want to see a level list. Okay, the Jelly Car letters. That should be interesting. So, gotta find them all. I'm hoping it's not too hard. Okay. And... Yeah, we got Jay. But again, the aesthetic of this level is really pleasing. Really cool. It does feel like Steamboat Willie. But that, that's also probably because of the... Filter too. Because like, I don't know. Yeah, the shore wasn't black and white. At this point, someone's probably made like a colored version of it. Whether it be Disney themselves just be like, oh, let's remake this in color or something. I don't think they did though. I know they might have done it for like one or two shorts or something. Because I remember there was a few that were pretty much the same except it had they changed Mickey's design to be more modern or something. I don't know, but yeah, I don't think they did anything with that like Steamboat Willie. Anyways, um we got I don't even know how the frick we just did that, but... This is the end of a level, pretty much. Where else could you possibly hide the... Last two letters? I see the C on the... Right side of the screen, but... Okay, I, I did that pretty well. Nope! I did not! I hate this level... The stairs. Not the level, but... 
The stairs. My God. Although it helps I have a controller. I, I don't think I'd be able to do this with touch screen controls. That'd be pretty hard to do. Nope. I was able to just go on them. But... Oh, come on. Okay, there we go. There we go. But yeah, um... That was easy. First try, you know. A few seconds for you guys. Five minutes of my life that I'll never get back from me. So, um, yeah. Anyways, C. But where are the last two levels? This is like the end of a level. Okay, well, A and R. Wow. Never mind, we got this. I'm kind of scared of using crow because I don't want to fall back down or fall off the boat. So, ah, oh, frick, no, come back down. I need you, Steam Cloud. Now this is getting Steamboat silly. A another bad crappy joke, and go. Okay, so. Yeah, I think we're good with two, so... One last set of levels. Being adventure, so X-Ray... And we're doing this. I don't know what this does. Oh. Okay, I see, the outlines are there. We just gotta drive through this and... The balloon would probably help me out a lot, though. Although, it just probably help me more if I actually see the level, but... Also, it's a bit hard to make out the level because it's a very dark background, too, so... Yeah, we, we almost got this. Okay. And the stop sign is there. I don't even need the x-ray anymore because I freaking got this. And I'm brought colored to this world, baby. No more dark. And jelly pinball, dear god. We already had it in the main game. Why here? Yeah, I also think there's a pinball level in Jelly Car Worlds, but it's way different since that, that one used like the signal thing and what? It's right there. What do I need to do? Just give me the thing, please. Come on. Oh, well, it happens. I guess I ha I'm supposed to hit stuff enough. I don't know, but oh, I get it. So I guess we're supposed to touch those things for a decent period of time, maybe. I don't know, but Man, I thought this was gonna be an easy level for a second. I guess. Okay, so we're just supposed to touch all three of them, and then the bars disappear, and we get the stop sign, so... There we go. Did you see that dinosaur? I did. I have not. Oh, wow. It's less cartoon-looking than the regular dinosaurs, I'll, I'll give it that, but... Oh man, would have been so mu interesting if if there was like a level based off of the Disney movie Dinosaur. Like back in I I would say like early two thousands, there was a Disney CGI anime movie. It doesn't hold up too well nowadays, but 
it was still interesting, though. Um, it had its. Actually, at the moment, it still has a ride at Disney World, which it was like a retheme of another ride that was based off of dinosaurs, but but not like the an actual franchise. But, like, just generally dinosaurs. I think it was, like, called Countdown to Extinction or something. But, yeah, it got rethemed to that movie. And that's supposed to be taken down soon and replaced with Indiana Jones. And I have no idea why they would even do that. Because, the one, the rise in Animal Kingdom. And what the frick does Andy Indiana Jones have to do with animals or anything aside from his hate of snakes and maybe a monkey or something showing up i don't know but yeah that that was did you see that dinosaur but i hope that level or it doesn't suck oh what the frick my my bad i wasn't even talking about the level when i said that i was talking about um this game, or, or on the Indiana Jones thing Disney's got going on. Oh my god. C can I make it, please? Okay, I can make it. Can I make it? Yes, I can. Nope, I cannot. Okay. Yeah, we we did it. Oh, okay. I think this might help me. Oh, there we go. I have no idea what that did. Actually, that might be able to take us to the end, maybe. Although I know there were like, yeah, a few different switches here and there. You know what? I don't even... Actually, I'm not gonna risk it because I've risked it a few different times at this point just to try and get these exits. Oh, we still got it. By 10 seconds, dang. But yeah, I, I feel like if I tried risking a jump or something to that exit, I would have died like an idiot. Okay, this is just going to be easy, hopefully. I don't know, but we already know where two of the exits are. Can't be that bad. Unless that's more cosmetic or something. I don't know. So how do we even get to them? Do we just back, like, circle around to them, or...? I don't even know what that did. Man, this is a weird level in general. I don't even... Oh! Man, that was a... I don't even know what that part of it was. Was that, like, supposed to indicate where the exits were and, like, what direction they were? I don't know, but... Four more levels to go. And we'll be done. Welcome back. I think it read welcome back. Okay. You know what? This seems right. I, I'll say it, it. It's right, probably. Oh wait. Oh, we're we're still good. I thought that would have killed us, but nope. We're still on track to get whatever this leads to. I, I'm assuming a regular exit. But I cannot tell. 
I mentioned it earlier, but I just can't tell sometimes. Oh, come on. Nope. I'm not going to my death. Thank God for Balloon. And I still managed to get to beat the clock. Wow. Okay, quilt package. Oh, this looks like fun and not at all. Gonna be a bad time for me. Yeah, okay, this might be a bad time for me. What pattern do these things follow? Some of them are going up and down. Okay, I think I get it now, so... Yeah, the red blocks move horizontally, and blue moves vertically. Which... Yeah, that should make this level easier. At least, knowing that fact, but... I need to figure out how to get to that. Oh, wait. Am I gonna kill myself? No, frick! I might have killed myself. Yep. Okay, we got it. We got it. That was... a bit hard, but we, we did it. Okay, two more to go, and then we're done with all the classic levels for Jelly Car. From the past. My god. Temple of Jelly. Okay. Uh, platforms are kind of cool. It's kind of like... I don't know what this reminds me of. I was gonna say Avatar. Because of floating platforms, but... Nah, that, that seems stupid. I mean, Avatar didn't really invent flowing platforms. Or James Cameron didn't. Anyways, was is... Yeah, I'm not going for that skull. Is anything supposed to happen, or...? Oh, frick, yes. We're getting a boulder. Man, I was talking about it yeah, Jones earlier. Okay, well, let's... Let's get out of here. I could easily go for that secret exit, but... I need to get... That stop sign. Come on. Oh god, snakes. Why did it have to be snakes? Yeah, we're, we're referencing all the Indiana Jones crap here. Come on. And... Goal! Okay, that was fun. Yeah, Temple of Jelly. Definitely better than... You know, the Dial of Destiny, so... I'll give Jelly Car that. Better Indiana Jones thing. Adaption, I guess? I don't know. Anyways, circles time. I... Okay, so. Oh, they, they look like cool rotating circles, but. Okay, I'm going in the right direction. I don't know why they it went down for a sec, but Oh god. Okay, I'm supposed to be on top of this, but not There we go. Okay, well Yeah, we're about to do it and here we go. That's the last level, baby. And we got the challenge. Okay, two more levels to go. Or not really two more levels, but... 
reverse level challenge. Ooh, that that sounds like it'll be fun with the dinosaur thing. Or, I thought this. No, I, I don't think this was a dinosaur level. Oh, it is. It's just. Yeah, I don't even. Oh, frick. Okay, I think I'm going the right direction. As far as I'm aware, I don't really remember too much of his level outside of there being a blimp or something, and of course the stop sign is there. Wait, oh, I can actually get to it. That was easy. Wow. I didn't even have to go through most of a level. I could just kind of cheese it. So, um, yeah. Anyways, you had a bad day. You played a tiny car, but you played, but you didn't go so far. I don't know. I'm just getting that 2000s nostalgia. Okay, now it sounds like Walber's on helium, but. I love the tiny car, though. It's... it's slow, but... it has its appeal. Kinda of sounds like he's on helium. Walliver is. I'm a, Oh. Oh god. Oh god. Okay, well... Stuff happens. Stuff definitely happens. I don't know if this is... Yeah, like I said, stuff happens. Okay, I'm just... I'm gonna play mostly in the big version of this tiny car because I... I'm having a hard time with this one otherwise. Like, like this, at least a Kai controls similar to the regular car, so... Oh, is that supposed to be a falling piano or something? Kind of looks like it. And hopefully my audio's good in post-production or whatever. I might need to clean it up, but... Yeah, I put some- oh, thank god, I've- god still. I- I should have grown at that point. Okay, I'm- I'm feeling... eh, tiny car, we did that. Huge car. Hmm. You know what? Let's play with a huge car. I want to end big. Literally. Like, literally. But yeah, overall, I'm gonna say my thoughts. I I really like this level, or, um, the Jelly Car 3 levels. They were fun. And I, I don't know why I didn't like the game when I was younger as m much as I like Jelly Car 2, but... Yeah, here, I had a good time. But yeah, like, th throughout these past three updates, you can tell that the game, or the franchise, has come a long way, and I managed to fail the challenge. Crap. Okay, back to my point. So, yeah, you can definitely tell Jelly Car World has improved on everything that made these games so great to begin with, and yeah, I, I love the fact that we were still able he was still able to preserve these games as they are. Uh, for the most part. 
Like, it's not gonna be one to one, but you know, for what it is, it, it's it's great. Like, I still recommend anyone get this game. Really, whether you just play it on Apple Arcade or anywhere else, Steam, Switch. We should. I would like to see a PlayStation or Xbox version. I'm surprised we haven't even gotten those, but could just be like issues of porting or something. So that is Jelly Car 3. So unless there was some hidden Jelly Car 4, that's all for Jelly Car 3. Except for a few missing levels here and there, which are lost media, to be fair. So yeah, that, that situation is what it is. Um, next time for Jelly Car Worlds, I'm not sure if I'm going to be doing co-op world or if I'm going to be doing custom levels again. Since co-op world definitely is something I'm looking forward to play, but again, I, I need to get a second person in for that. And it depends on both our schedules. Yeah, well, we'll see. We'll see. But yeah, um, th this was fun to check out, though. Um, and hopefully those levels get added in the future if they get added at all. I will say that if I can complain mm. about anything about this update, Kai just a very, 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 very minor complaint. And mm. it has nothing to really do with just like a small nitpick. Nothing with the quality is that I mm. wish they introduce more things to do with the purple squares or the cubes that you get because right now i have so many that it's just it's kind of pointless now because i already unlocked all the little antennas and everything and i i don't know what else you could do though whether it be introducing new skins or something else but uh, regardless i had a fun time so um yeah, let me finish up this introduction here and stop bouncing, for the love of God. So anyways, um, this has been Arlie Safari, Boing. and I will see you later, Gators, and hopefully this mic sounds good. Bye!